Hey, how's it going? Good, how are you today? Oh, pretty good. What do we have here? Well, it's a Claude Monet painting. Is this the weird chance that your name is Claude Monet, or is this actually the Claude Monet? No, this is the actual guy. <laughs> OK. Um, where in the hell did you get this? Uh, collateral for a loan. OK. The guy just defaulted on the loan, or? No, actually, he took the money, went to the hospital, and died. OK. So that, I guess, in <laughs> itself is a default. I've had the painting for three years, and to be honest with you, it's not really my kind of art. I am not an art collector. But I know if it's real, it's probably worth in the neighborhood of two to three million dollars. Do you have a date or anything else like that when it was done, when it was painted? I Is don't. There a, there a title to it? It was just. I don't. Okay. I mean, was this, was this guy really well off? He was. He he was a doctor. All right. Uh, I, I mean, I, I know a little bit about Monet. He started arguably one of the biggest art movements ever, the Impressionist movement. There was Pissarro, there was Renoir. All these really, really great artists came out of it. So he started this? He started it. I mean, Impressionism is named after his painting, Impression Sunrise. Hmm. That's why his paintings are worth so much money. Mm -hmm. The things that made Monet paintings so great, they were a little bit blurry. That's Impressionism. But you could still see detail and depth. That's what made them so special, and that's why they go for millions and millions of dollars. What I have here is some documentation. OK. Some provenance for you that you can look at. All right, so uh, May 1st, 1965. Our findings as as follows. The painting is solidly constructed, casual canvas, a typical Claude Monet from his early period. OK. Then we jump forward to 1997. The painting was actually displayed at the Las Vegas Museum of Fine Arts. OK. This was the insurance policy for that painting at that time. And it was insured at that time at $2.1 million. People have walked in my shop, and I have bought hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of merchandise off them. But a real Monet? That might be the most expensive item yet. So you want to sell it, correct? Correct. Um, um, you know, I just 100%, I am not qualified to say if this is real or not. OK. okay. But I might have a lowly pawn shop, but I do spend some serious money every once in a while. Sure. So let me get a friend down here. OK. If this is legit, I think we can both make money off it. OK. Sounds good. All right, I'll All be right. right back. Thanks. If they bring some people in, it only helps the situation. I'm hoping to walk out with a million dollars. Oh my gosh, this is this is the Monet. This is it. All right. Monet's one of the, the biggies. I mean, when you think of fine art masters, Monet's right up there near the top of the heap. He established probably the most important artistic movement of the last 200 years. I mean, there's prestigious museums that can't get hold of a Monet, so you don't expect to see one in a Las Vegas pawn shop. You say uh, I'm not prestigious. Pristi yeah, well, well, really? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing personal. I love Impressionism. The way that they were able to configure and juxtapose in short dabs of color to where as you step back from the painting, your eye puts it all into focus in a natural way is phenomenal. Now, was it on exhibit at the Las Vegas Art Museum? It was in All 1997. Right. OK. They say early period, mm -hmm. which is very vague. I mean, he lived a very long life. Yeah. He started painting very early. So what's early period? It doesn't, doesn't really tell you a whole lot. But he, he was a perfectionist. And a lot of his lesser pieces have kind of been lost to time. So this may have been a piece that he did, perhaps as a study to another piece. Uh, let me take a closer look at it, Please if you do. don't mind. My first impressions of the piece is it certainly looks like something Monet would have painted late 1870s when he was fascinated with a lot of rural France and he was trying to capture the pristine, untouched beauty of some of those types of areas. It's indicative of Monet's brush strokes. Impressionists were all about, as the name would indicate, you know, capturing the impressions of a scene. And when you work in plain air, out in the open air, it's all about speed. I mean, because the lighting changes, the wind kicks up, you know, the, the, the shadows move. So you have to really capture the impressions quickly. The brush strokes are there. It's, it's very thin. Usually, you'll get some sort of impasto, a little bit more texture. He, he usually had some texture in his pieces. And this, again, there's very little of that. He also was known for having a very you know, vibrant palette. All of the master works that you see have every color of the rainbow. I mean, you've got purples, you've got oranges, you've got reds, you've got greens. And there's very little of that. But that having been said, 
you know, I don't want to dismiss it because, mm -hmm. again, you're talking about a piece that, if it's authentic, this could be a, a $5 million piece. Mm -hmm. But on the same token, you have to be really careful. So red flags means it's not real, or...? I'd like to get a second opinion because, again, when you start talking about these types of upper echelon pieces, the more opinions you can get, the better. Okay. And just because there's a few red flags that I see, he may not see it that way. That's fine with me. Okay. Is that okay, Rick? Sure, yeah. Give him a call. Okay. Okay, I will. If this piece is authentic, this could certainly be the most valuable piece I've ever checked out for Rick. You really have to dot your I's and cross your T's, and it always helps to get another opinion. Gerard is, is the man that I go to in our gallery when we have masterpieces come through just to verify authenticity and things like that. I trust his opinion implicitly, so. Okay. I'm a fine art expert specialized in authentication of important masters. Before to look at the name, you look at the technique because you see rapidly the difference between a Sunday morning painter and a, a real artist. If this is a real Monet, uh, it will be a very important Monet because of the size and also because of the subject, of, uh, because he is a painter from the outdoors, from the landscapes. Monet is, uh, is known for that quality. The first thing, if it's a Monet, it should be 150 years old. So we should at least see cracks in the painting. Yeah. Also here in the signature, there is absolutely not one crack. That's interesting. Yeah. If we look on the back of this painting, may I lift it? Sure, it yes, problem? sure. Okay. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Uh, yeah. What I'm looking at is at the texture, the canvas, all indication of who it could be. You will have all the oil paint sweating through the canvas. Here you don't see that. So is it real? It's in the style of Monet, uh, but it's not absolutely not by the end of uh, Claude Monet. Really? Yeah. How Doesn't sure are you of this? 200% uh, sure because there is absolutely not one crack in the paint itself, which is not usual for 150 years old painting. Also, what you notice is almost all in one plane. Monet will have showed this with shadows. This will be much more pronounced. This is too flat. Wow, really? And not probably, real. Not real. Oh. Usually when it's too good to be true, it generally is. Well, that's disappointing. Well, thanks for bringing it in. It was fun. <laughs> Man, if I lost out on millions, I would be bummed too. But not as bummed as me shelling out millions for a fake. <laughs>